a 5-0 run from FEU before the technical timeout. Let's see if they can continue that. And again, it's Devasora. You like this? You like her? <laughs> Devasora and FEU girls know well. Uh, also a product of the FEU high school program. And that one-two from Tin Obaldo. She's known to do that, and she does it well. Tin Obaldo, I, I think she wants to get on that scoring board. Yeah. <laughs> in that case, Vanny Gander was able to find a hole there. And Jenny Tagaod just takes off here in that first set, 25-21 in the final count. It wasn't easy for FEU. Also, that you're listening. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's easy to communicate, but it's also difficult to understand, yeah. right? <laughs> so you could be talking, but if you don't understand what's <laughs> happening... I know there with a serve. Wonko taking care of that one, and a quick works out for FEU. Assist with that big, quick attack. Anita got out from back row. Leanne was there. Not it. Stopped by Devasora. Joe Fernandez. And she makes up for that last error. Powering through the block. Stopped by Vanny Gandler. This could be a free ball. FEU will set up again. Where will Ubaldo go? And she goes for the dump. And it works again. You know, Ubaldo outsmarting the defense of Ateneo the second time. Ubaldo knowing the hole in defense on the side of Ateneo. That's you. That's right. Yeah. We have an exciting matchup after this match. Shiki Aronson versus LaSalle. Oh, that was that crucial one, too. Great set by Ubaldo. And that set was coming from off the net. And that has been missing the second set. That's right. Good yeah, coverage. That's right. Great coverage. Oh, that one gets away from Faith Nesperos, who we know also does well in the back row. But uh, FEU, just everything working right for them in the second set. Meantime, FEU exactly where they want to be. They want to sweep Ateneo and uh, keep their chances alive at playing in the final four. Beautiful time. And you Working out for Tsunashima there, already two points in this third set, and she is definitely soaking in the moment. We have Joe Fernandez to win this game in five sets. That's a good reception there. Oh, Takaon! Beautiful combination play by Ubaldo. Takaon using all. Yeah, and Guzman with a good reception. The Sparrows will go up. Dog by Encarnacion. Quick there, and that is what Coach D was looking for. That's right. That's right. Perfect dig by Encarnacion. Oh, I can't! Inubaldo! See, every time she goes for that one two, Inubaldo has that mastered. Look at that. The masters in one two attacks as well. Is it going to be a win off of that service ace? Fitting for Finn Ubaldo. And look at FEU and their fans just celebrating. I'm now with our player of the game. We have Finn Ubaldo of the FEU Tamarao. So first of all, congratulations, Finn. So yung first question ko sa yo, gano ka importante itong game na to against Ateneo? Sobrang importante po since Pang fight ng nanggaling po kami sa loss, so parang sinabi po sa amin ni coach, parang ano, hindi namin pwede bitawan yung every game na makakalaban pa namin. Parang dapat pataas tayo, hindi pwede yung porket na talo is pababa na, dapat pataas pa rin. Okay, so Tin, kwento mo naman sa amin, anong nangyari dun sa third set? Ba bakit bumitaw yung uh, team natin? At paano kayo nakabawi? Yung third set, parang lagi kasing sinasabi na every set kailangan natin mag-reset. Tapos yung nangyari po siguro nag-start slow po kami, parang nawalan kami ng receive. Tapos parang ang sabi lang nila, coach, parang hindi pwedeng ano, pag nag-start yung panabagong set, eh bababa kayo. Dapat, pat, ano, dire-diretso yung pataas. Kung nanalo, panalo, panalo. Hindi pwedeng panalo, baba, panalo, baba. Okay, Coach Tint, meron ka bang gusto ng batiin? So binabati ko lahat ng supporters ng FEU, yung mga students na nandyan. Yung athletics office, Ma'am Che, Ma'am Grace, yung family ko, tsaka lahat ng FEU community. That's right. Once again, our player of the game, Tin Ubaldo of the FEU Tamarao.